Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of the support from my Geminis. Um, you guys are always so supportive of my videos and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for continuing to check back on the videos. So today's reading is going to be about the current energies for you in love and a little bit about you and them, kind of the connection between you. Keep in mind these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every single Gemini watching. So let's get right into it for Gemini. Spirit, what's coming towards Gemini in love? What do we need to know for Gemini? Okay. I'm going to put these back because I'm going to cut the deck, but wow, the Eight of Wands. Something quick. Something quick coming towards you, Gemini. This could also be communication of some sort. Okay. Let's cut the deck and see what we get for you. Five of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Mmm. Mmm. And the bottom of the deck and overall energy, the Ace of Cups. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> For Gemini, okay. We needed, and I say we because I'm a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Sun. Wait, is that what I just said? The Gemini Sun and Gemini Venus is what I meant to say. Um, we've needed a, a turnaround. I feel like um, what's going on is that there's some sort of disappointment right now. Maybe there's feelings of sadness, kind of feeling um, regretful or disappointed at the way things have turned out in love. Um, this could also be the energy of the person you are dealing with or will be dealing with because um, these are the energies surrounding you in love. But the Five of Cups is really a card about looking back at the past with regrets, with sadness. Um, you could be missing someone, thinking of them. We'll clarify these a little bit to see. Uh, Page of Pentacles, again, I feel like this is what's coming in. Some sort of um, new beginning with a particular person. An offer from someone. Um, and then the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is the ideal partner. It's someone stable, someone grounded. Um, someone who has a lot to offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Um, I feel like this could be how someone views you as like, you know, a queen of pentacles. But I'm also getting the, the sense that maybe you're meeting someone that has a lot to offer you, Gemini. And the overall energy, of course, is the Ace of Cups. So this is new energy. This is fresh energy. This is emotional fulfillment, new love and abundance. Um, so I just, I see this being something really special for you. Let's get some more energies here for Gemini. What do we need to know, Spirit, for Gemini in love? Bountiful harvest. Love it. And hidden motives. Someone's hide. Oh, this could be a secret admirer of some sort. Divine timing, of course. It cannot be a Gemini reading without divine timing. Okay. So I love this energy. I feel like this is probably someone you don't expect with hidden motives. This could be someone that has been maybe avoiding you or avoiding um, talking to you or perhaps they're just scared to talk to you. The devil just fell out. Capricorn energy. Hmm. And divine timing is almost telling me that maybe someone cannot show themselves until the right time. Let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups about? Why is the Ace of Cups here? What can you tell us, Spirit, about this Ace of Cups? The moon. Oh, yeah. Pisces energy here. There is some sort of secret, hidden mystery, hidden feelings going on here. I feel like someone has hid their feelings for you or maybe suppressed their feelings for you. Maybe they've loved you secretly. Maybe they have thought about you secretly. Maybe this is a wish that they have, this new beginning in love, but they haven't expressed it. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. What else do we need to know about this Ace of Cups? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Oh yeah, this is definitely, whoever this is, I mean, you could be dealing with a straight up Virgo, 
But whoever this is, I feel like they have not come forward. It's someone like in your midst or someone that has kept to themselves. I, I mean, the message is repeating itself here. The hermit is withdrawn. Um, they are alone. They're doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking, um, and they don't do a lot of communicating, the hermit. The hermit also doesn't take a lot of action. They're basically just planning for the future or seeking answers about what they can do next or what they should do. So I feel like this is someone that has secretly been pining for you perhaps or just making plans um, about your future or secretly hoping for something with you in the future, etc. etc. This could also be your energy. So let's look down at this five of cups. What's this five of cups about? Why is the five of cups here? What's this five of cups about? Eight of wands. Okay. Can I get one more for the five of cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Five of Wands, okay. I think someone wants to talk about some sort of conflict that has happened in the past, or it could be past regrets. Maybe they're regretting certain action that they took. Maybe they're thinking about a past conflict, something that didn't work out. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is here and then the Fool. So I almost get the sense that despite what has happened in the past, someone's still thinking about the future. Again, I get this energy of someone thinking about a future beginning, you know, like a new beginning in the future. I, I'm just repeating myself in this reading, I guess. Um, but it's with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is not someone that... How do I say this? They don't function on just emotions, right? It's not just an emotional tie or feelings that they have, you know? The Queen of Pentacles, what they feel, what they want, they make happen on their own. They work hard. They put in effort. Um, they don't take risks. They don't um, cut corners. The Queen of Pentacles um, is very successful because they've taken their time to get there. So I feel like whoever's thinking about this future is thinking about doing the right thing. And the, uh, the Hierophant is here right after Taurus energy. So I get the sense too that, you know, the horror font is all about tradition, conformity, doing the right thing. Contracts, official institutions, right? It could be interpreted as a card about like marriage or, or a long-term commitment, right? So I feel like whoever's thinking about you or thinking about this future with you, it's not a short future. It's the long, a long-term commitment that they're thinking about. But first they have to address the past here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What do we need to know about this Eight of Wands? Page of Cups, yeah. This is some, yeah, and there's the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that wants to come forward and either apologize or talk about what's happened. Page of Pen, uh, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, um, with the Page of Pentacles, I guess I could put them together. This is someone that not only expresses themselves, but also makes promises, promises that you can rely on. Page of Pentacles is like the, the student. Um, they like to, um, they, they take things seriously and they're willing to work to get to the level that they want to get to, which I believe is this King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Or someone with Earth in their chart. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What's going on here? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Page of Pentacles? Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. Well, I feel like this isn't, yeah, King of Cups. I think this is someone's internal conflict or like this back and forth energy in, that they're doing internally because again, whoever this is has not come forward. They're in the shadows, whoever this is. Um, they're thinking, planning secretly. It's like you don't really know that this is happening or, or if you want to flip this energy because you can of course flip uh, all of these energies, 
Maybe you have been secretly wanting to be with someone, but you haven't come forward yet. I think it's this 10 of wands is part of this past energy. You know, it's almost like someone's going back and forth about the possibility of something because of the burden they're carrying from the past. <clears throat> Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Another ten. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Oh. Can I get one more? The Empress and the Eight of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Gemini, I don't know what happened in the past between you and this person, but whatever happened, I think they were in the wrong and you appeared as this Queen of Pentacles and Empress energy. I think you've done very well for yourself since that's happened, but your person is not in the same boat. It's almost like things got better for you, but worse for them. Or this is someone who had a big part to play in why things ended. And so they, they, they're they stuck there. They're stuck in the whole, uh, I'm not worth it. I'm not, I'm not worth this empress. I, I screwed up. Or, you know, it's like someone is like stuck in this ending. Yeah, but they still love you, Gemini. Wow, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, are you kidding me? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is someone that I feel is still hoping for a happy ending with you. Let's get some insight into your energies. Spirit, tell me more. Whoa, Wheel of Fortune. As soon as I open the deck, tell me more about the energies between Gemini and this other person that they are, will, or have been dealing with. Tell me more about the energies between Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know? Gemini, I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energy on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. And if at any moment of this reading you resonate with the reading or you just enjoy how I read and want to support my channel for free, then please consider hitting that like button. It really helps out a lot. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, Gemini. So I have you on one side. Three of cups, ten of cups. And on their side, six of wands, four of wands. Well, you're both on the same page. I, I'll got to tell you that. You're both picturing a future with each other. Or it's almost like you think about it every now and then. You know, what would have happened? What if? What if so-and-so and I had taken this to the next level or had, you know, had a future together. You're both thinking about this reunion or this coming together. I feel like some of you are even wonder like what it would be like to be married with this person. I have you on this side with the three of cups and the ten of cups. What can you tell me about this three of cups, queen of cups? Oh yeah, you're totally marrying each other. Tell me about this Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, please. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands, Four of Wands. Interesting, you have cups and they have wands. So it's like you are more thinking um, from an emotional perspective, whereas I think they're thinking from a more um, active, passionate perspective. So, you know, I, I get the sense that for the Geminis that I'm talking to right now, that this reading is for... Um, I think in, in your mind, you're not the one that can make the first move. Tell me about the six of wands and the four of wands. The emperor. Oh yeah. Doer, active person, Aries energy. This is someone taking charge, taking action. Tell me about the six of wands. More fire energy there. Sorry, Gemini. Someone was knocking loudly at the door and of course my dogs went crazy. So the fool and the emperor. I mean, do I really need to say anything else? 
This person is thinking about what action they have to take to have a new beginning. Um, what do they need to do to have a new beginning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this, the emperor is a doer. And I also feel like you're thinking about the effort it would take as well. Because it's like love is not the issue here. I think you both care about each other, but it's like your relationship would need to take work or something would need to be built um, to really be successful. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. It's like, it's like you're thinking about all of the work it would take to have this reunion, this coming together, the energy it would take to repair whatever has happened in the past and have this future that I feel you're both thinking about. Okay, let's get some more energies here about how you and this person are thinking, feeling about each other. A secret moon oracle, which I find very fitting for this reading. <laughs> All right, tell me more about Gemini. Gemini's energies when it comes to this person, this connection spirit. What do we need to know about Gemini's energies? I have a lot on my plate. Well, maybe you're very busy, Gemini. Um, or maybe this is something you know about your person. This Ten of Wands might be something that they're busy with. Okay, I'm getting the message that um, some of you feel like this person, you're not the priority. There's other things they would have to work on or build on or whatever. It's almost like when you think about them, you think that they have a lot going on in their life right now. And you're not something one they would be thinking about. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but that's not for everyone. But I, I sense it's most of you here. Yeah. And I feel like also you might be very busy. Maybe you're not even thinking about dating right now. Or maybe you're just really busy uh, with your business, with your life, your family, your responsibilities. Okay. Tell me about this other person that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about this other person that Gemini is, has or will be dealing with. What are their energies? I miss you. Oh, bottom of the deck, I need more time. Okay, that's probably why they're doing all this here. They're thinking planning because they need more time, despite the fact that they're missing you and thinking about you. Hmm, plot thickens. That's why divine timing is here. I know that's like a trigger word for a lot of Geminis <laughs> at this point, but hey, I, I am not, don't shoot the messenger, okay? I don't control the cards that come out. I just trust that the message will come out as it's meant to and it just keeps coming up for Geminis on my channels. Uh, thank you so much for watching Gemini. If you hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.